Who is Anthony Byrne? His name is Andrew Byrne. I'm asking of your business. <laughs> you can't win. Anybody can get it. You get a slap. You get a slap. You get a slap. Hello everyone, welcome to Violet Adazet. If you are new, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, what? Today we are looking at Madonna, Bitchy, and Diva Moments Part 2. We already did Part 1, so if you haven't seen it, go check it out. She is a diva. She is a diva, for sure. And we're gonna check out Part 2. Before we get into this video, guys, I would like to give a big shout out to the YouTube channel, It's That Girl Cassie. On her channel, you'll find funny and relatable vlogs and lifestyle videos. She posts new videos every week, so go over to her channel and show her some support. The link to her channel will be in my description box below. And with that being said, guys, let's just jump right into it. Oh, look at her being all young, not knowing she's about to be a whole pop icon. Problem the fact that there's no air in here, I'm gonna die. That was we saw that clip from the last one as well, but it was a different clip. Like there's a name Joan Collins, we could tell. No, oh, oh. have you seen her lately? I don't know who Joan Collins is. I might have to, you know what? Let's look up who Joan Collins is. Oh, this woman, I know this woman. She's like, Can you shut up, please? I need to look at that whole interview because you guys were telling me to look at the full interview and that it's wild. So I might be checking that out next. People, I talk to people, not. How much money I have. Okay. So, does okay. that answer your question? Sir? Does that answer your question? Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean it's okay? No, it's all right. Just all right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Listen really carefully when the guy says it's all right. His voice shakes. It's all right. He is scared. He's terrified. He hates it there. Is Drake a good kisser? Is he? I kissed a girl and I liked it. Savage! FYI guys, I was at that concert at Coachella when she kissed Drake. And so when that whole thing was happening, I was in the crowd like... <laughs> in restaurants, they were shutting down so everybody could run out of the kitchen and watch you on television. No, Madonna looks so different here. Amazing. Well, it was. I've never seen any restaurants. They were shutting down so everybody could run out of the kitchen and watch you on television. No, isn't that amazing? Well, it was. I've never seen anything quite like that. Mm -hmm. Yep, as it should be. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> she said, as it should be. <laughs> She buys into her own hype, and I think it was Jay-Z that said, you have to believe that you are great before anybody else even believes that you are great. And she bought into her own hype since she was a little girl. The confidence on this woman is, is wild. We have tape? Tape of what? Tape, why can't we just talk to each other? Why do we have to have all this control? <laughs> okay, the tape, the list, everything. <laughs> Why does she have a whole cigar in her hand on a late night show? That's that's my real question. She living her life lavish, that's what I have to say. Who is Anthony Byrne? His name is Andrew Byrne, I'm asking of your business. <laughs> you can't win. Anybody can get it. You get a slap, you get a slap, you get a slap. Figure to slap, of course. Like, anyone can get it. Are there ever moments you wish for a 9 to 5 job? Yes, right now. It's... What, 9 o'clock and I'm still working? I can imagine though, as a celebrity, it seems all fun and glitz and glamour and all the perks you get. Of course, all that comes with it. But celebrity is your life. You, There's no clocking out. Beyonce can't be like, well, it's time to not be Beyonce anymore. Madonna can't be like, well, I guess I'll take off this Madonna suit. It'll be a lot. I don't know. It, I think it'll be very draining and require a lot of coffee. You're from Orlando. No, I'm from Boston. Okay, Thank well that's just as embarrassing. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, Detroit. Oh! <laughs> no, that was a good comeback though, you can't even lie. That was a good comeback. And I'm assuming that must be a really close friend of hers. He's probably like, travels with her a lot and they're probably close friends. Because to come back at her like that, especially with everything I've seen, that takes balls. That was a good comeback. You cannot even lie, guys. He said, okay, Detroit. <laughs> No offense to anyone that lives in Detroit, but damn. Money's made you soft. Really? You think so? Yeah. In what sense? Because you just kiss up to everybody and you show them. Shot fired. What do you even reply to that? And a good way to reply to that would be to like have a comeback that is rude and be like, see, I don't kiss up to everyone. Ooh! That would have been amazing though, but um, don't do it. Maybe if, if it's if it's delivered properly, it could be a bomb ass comeback. There are not many people you get excited about, but when somebody like you comes on, I get excited and then I make a fool of myself. Really? I think I may have made a fool of myself once or twice too on your show. Okay. <laughs> remember, that, remember that one back in the- Yeah, but it wasn't because I was excited about you. Yeah, you, you were- 
No, I know she's quick witted. She's a really quick witted and she knows where to stab where it hurts. <laughs> Scream has nothing on her. She knows how to stab where it hurts. Can I be funny and pretty? Nobody's ever done it. You can That's be funny true. and pretty. Lucille Ball was pretty. Yeah, for how long? 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah, right. Lucille Ball. I need to see this woman that they just ruined, destroyed. Oh, um, she's from, what's that show called? Uh, I Love Lucy, right? They destroyed. First of all, there are a lot of funny and pretty people. I think Rihanna is funny. I don't know if she tries to be, but I think she's funny and she's gorge. Selena was funny and she was silly. So, I don't know. I mean, that is pretty funny in a different way, in a very rude, stabby, mixed-stab way. <laughs> and she's pretty, so... Mm, I would say there's some funny, pretty people out there. In press interviews, Madonna has said that Mariah is not particularly bright and that Ooh. she would, quote, rather kill herself than be Mariah Carey. <laughs> Maybe I should just leave my jaw on the floor because it just seems like it, it might as well. What's the point of closing my mouth each time? Just <laughs> she got some balls on her. I don't know the stuff she'll be saying. She's gonna try to kill herself than be Mariah Carey. Mariah Carey is amazing. Have you heard that ah! that whistle tone or whatever it's called? Get out of the hospital. No man. I like it in here. Nice clothes. Good money. <laughs> and a lot of available jobs. <laughs> Okay, you know what? <laughs> this whole video is just gonna be me going ooh, 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 because the stuff she says is just so girl on girl sex stuff. The laugh dancing with the stripper made some makes some viewers uncomfortable. That's their business. Why? Why do you first start? Wait, what did she say? Uncomfortable. Good. She said good. Good. <laughs> It's so funny how this is what they're talking about back in the day. If they saw what we're doing in 2022, ooh, they'll be clutching their pearls, clutching their organs, clutching everything they could because they'll be like, that blasphemy. It only makes sense that this is how her personality is because if you had the balls, the cojones, the big steel ball to be doing all the things she was doing in the 80s and 90s when it was not seen as acceptable yet and she was trailblazer, you have to have tough skin and have some balls on you to be able to take that kind of criticism from the media 24-7, right? Though I'd rather be getting an award than giving one away. Ah! <laughs> okay, she leans into her persona of being a badass, of being the girl who doesn't give a shit, the girl who is savage, pretty much. She leans into the savage mode. She was savage Madonna and she remains savage Madonna even till the today. She leans into that and she saw the reaction she was getting from people and people probably thought she was really real, right? Because I feel like when you're savage, it's almost synonymous with being real. And so she leaned into that savagery. She leaned into it and it just became her. Can we dance now? Oh, can we dance No. Now? <laughs> no. Okay. It's like, are you paying me? Are you paying, are you cutting me a check to dance now? If not, uh, go dance with the wall. <laughs> Same as people think sometimes that uh, they are feeling uh, lonely. Do you? Do you? It's, it's not a question of me, it's a question of you. But I don't think loneliness has anything to do with fame. I think everyone feels lonely from time to time. Don't you think? Okay. <laughs> I win. It's the I win that took me out. Funny enough, I do think that everyone feels lonely, but I do think that it could be more lonely if you're a celebrity just because you feel like everyone has an ulterior motive, especially people that you're meeting for the first time that you never knew before you became a celebrity. So I feel like it could feel lonely because you keep your group smaller or the people that you actually trust smaller and you just always have to think about the ulterior motive, especially as Madonna, like that's a huge deal. Anyone want, will want to know her because she's Madonna, you know? And you just start wondering if people like you because of you or because you're Madonna. But maybe it's different in the actual shoes or maybe she just doesn't think that deep into it and she's like, well, everybody feels lonely. It's actually my very expensive suitcase. I hope Ooh. you know that. Okay. <laughs> just, you know, there's a lot of really, you know, precious things in my room and I, I want you to respect that. Can I respect it? Where'd you get this guy, by the way? He came with me. Yeah. <laughs> Madonna! You will not kill me today. Like, at the same time, I can see that she's, I think, being humorous. 
Like she's not really taking it too seriously, but I can't really tell. I can't tell. Uh, it's not much different than your average spoiled brat. She got a weekly oh. allowance. If she needed equipment, Gotham would purchase that for her. We gave her studio time, however much she wanted. Mm -hmm. Don, I would say, had a selective kind of loyalty towards people. Gotham management resolved, and, and we went our separate ways. I never got a thank you from Madonna. Who is that? I expected. Who is that? Was that her old manager or something? Because he seems like he's adamant about talking some shit. You said that there was moments when you were petulant, yeah. when you were spoiled, yeah. that you treated people badly. Yeah. Well, you were able to stand back and see yourself doing that, were you? Yeah, I mean, I can see myself doing it last week. I mean, it wasn't <laughs> 10 years ago. So she confirmed it. She's like, oh yeah, all that stuff that that guy said. Yeah. Sign. Okay. Okay. Sure, you got a pen? Yes, I got it. Even the pen gets it. Even the pen gets to savage dream, Donna. The pen can't even live its lovely pen life in peace. It has to be called crap. <laughs> what advice would you give to your younger self knowing what you know now? Oh, I'm very curious. Don't kiss Drake. don't kiss drink okay so that was a shot when she said i kissed a girl and i liked it because you know what i remember a few like weeks after that happened for a few weeks after they were like oh drake was so disgusted because of how he did his face after she kissed him but i think drake was just being extra like he always does those kind of faces <laughs> Is not the most genius dig I have ever witnessed in my life. She called out Lady Gaga without saying a word. I mean, she said a word in a song, but without actually talking. She just sang and she let you hear it. That was kind of iconic. Um. <laughs> the most savage of savageries I have seen in a while. Oh my god. Madonna, what the hell? She said she's not me. <laughs> this woman is wild. She is wild. She's a savage. She is a diva. She is all of the above. I'm surprised I didn't hear more about this concert specifically because you'll think it'll be all over the news. I wonder if Lady Gaga saw it. That's hurtful. That's hurtful. That that would hit you right in the feelings. Ouch. You cannot tell me Lady Gaga didn't see this and cry. Because I would cry. I would cry. Hey, I would cry. I don't know what to say. I would actually shed a tear if I saw that. Anyways, Madonna is a savage. Someone said she is the Regina George of pop music. She is indeed. Everybody wants to be her, yet everyone's scared of her. Um, I wonder if she has a burn book. Her singing Born This Way and Then She's Not Me is one of the bitchiest and funniest things I've ever seen. It is one of the wildest things. The fact that she did that in a concert, I think the crowd would have gone wild. You've got to admire her. She's in control at all times. She is definitely in control at all times. Not only of herself, but everyone around her. <laughs> Not only of herself, but every single person around her. If you're working for her, if you're interviewing her, if you're in her space. Just know that she owns you. She's the captain now. <laughs> Look at me, sure. I'm the captain now. She's the captain now and she's gonna get what she want because she's a grown woman. <laughs> that was me looking at Madonna, Bitchy and Diva Moments Part 2. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. Comment down below your thoughts about this, guys. You cannot tell me she's not a savage. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I'm gonna need you to subscribe. Subscribe. Click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos coming up. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.